um, food. But before I bring her up, I'm going to bring someone else up first to really give her that introduction. So I'm going to have come up so she can bring her up. Let's give a round of applause. Hi, I'm Claudette, I'm Claudette Lee. And I'd first like to thank uh, Mrs. Uh, Elamine for inviting us over to this uh, activity today. Uh, this is, I think, our fourth stop on the day. But I am on Team Adama, uh, Diane for Change for Stonecrest. And I'm excited, and I hope, and everybody that we met today has been very excited about our campaign and the changes uh, that she has the vision for, for this city. This is a new city. Um, and I've watched, uh, I've lived in DeKalb County for 49 years. I saw in 2008 when Dunwoody was the first, um, was created. And I've watched what they do, how well are they progressing. Uh, Tucker uh, was created at the same time as Stonecrest. I keep track on those things. Um, and I think it's important to know that there has to be a vision beyond the status quo. Uh, keeping things the same will not get you anything new, nothing innovative or creative. Um, and the things that um, I'm the most impressed with, when I first met Diane, she was running for the seventh district board of commissioners, uh, board of commissioners. There were nine candidates in that race. And I think we sometimes forget that when people are running for office, they're basically applying for a job with us as citizens. We're the employer, because we pay their salary. And I asked the question of all nine candidates, do you know what the responsibilities of a commissioner for the county of DeKalb County. Oh. There was only one hand out of nine that went up, and that was Diana Dama. Not only did she raise her hand that she knew what the responsibilities were, she reached in her little pocket book and pulled out the actual uh, code that listed the responsibilities. So my question from that was, how do you apply for a job and you don't even know what it's supposed, it entails or what it's supposed to do? But it was just an example of what she does, which is her homework. And she is a public servant. She's uh, not self-serving. She is going to bring to the city of Stonecrest innovation. Uh, we talk to business people. They are excited about what she says to them. And I told her she's the greatest sales person because immediately after talking to these business people they're ready what can I do to help and that's what we need and our purpose for being here today is to reach out to everyone in your community to say if you want change for Stonecrest is that a crossroads because it's basically a, a, a new operation but you know, she's a business woman she understands business she has been, uh, as a council person, protecting your tax dollars. You know, sometimes a no is not a negative thing if it's protecting you and your hard-earned dollars. So I just bring to you uh, Diane Adoma. I support her because she's a, an ethical woman. She believes in integrity. She believes in accountability. And that accountability comes from us as citizens. You know, sometimes we just turn the keys over to the city, or in my case, the county, and we don't hold them accountable. And then we wonder why the things that we want aren't getting done, or getting done to our satisfaction. I was listening to the code enforcement office, and to have 1,200, a backlog of 1,200 complaints without a plan to overcome it. You know, they're going to continue to come in. It means more work. This lady right here is a hard worker, and she's honest, and she will uh, communicate and be accessible. Uh, the worst thing in the world is to elect somebody, and you got to get an act of Congress to get in to see them to discuss any issues you might have. 
So I'm going to turn it over now and uh, let uh, Diane for Change bring her message to you. And we hope that as a result of hearing what she has to say, not fluff, but hearing what she has to say, <laughs> that you will tell your neighbors, your friends, people that you do business with to come out and either canvas with us,